Hey guys, this is Toy Posse Saga doing another video today for you guys. Now you should know what this video is going to be about. If you hear the music in the background, of course. It's Vegeta, of course. I'm going to do a review on all my Vegeta figures, just like how I did it on all the Goku's I had. So, I'm going to do a review on Vegeta. So, anyhow, let's start with this video. Okay, uh, let's start with the first figure, and I'm going to show you. It is, uh, Vegeta from Burger King. This Vegeta was made in 2002 by Burger King, and this is one of the Vegeta's that is actually my favorite Vegeta. Oh, I guess all the toys I have of him, but, like, yeah, I have other favorites, too. Uh... This Vegeta, I had this toy for two years because I had bought it off eBay. And eBay is now where I get mostly the figures now because thanks to SS Gushin 4. And I used this like, a lot of times in Toys Ball Z, but I will eventually get a bigger Vegeta in this outfit. Uh, I am collecting the Irwin and the Super Battle Collection. That's the ones I will get. Uh, he is, uh, from, as I said, Burger King. He, it looks just like Vegeta. Like, you actually look straight at Vegeta from the, uh, show. Yeah, it looks just like him. Okay, uh, articulation, he only has movement at the waist. Yeah, movement at the waist. And what he does is a wheel on the back of his back and he actually punches. So like if you have some other character I guess to he can fight, that kinda does the same thing as him. So but I don't really have another character that actually punches like that. So here's what he does. So like he can fight someone. Okay. Like that. So he actually can fight a person. Like if I have another toy that actually does that. But like if I have two of these Vegetas, I can do something like he fight himself. So this is one of the favorite Vegetas I have. I like Vegeta like this because it's kind of cool. But he's only four inches tall. That's why I like to get the bigger figures of them. So I plan on getting more Vegeta figures, like I said, just like Goku and other characters in the show as well. So yeah, this is all of Vegeta. This is Vegeta from Burger King. They do have another Vegeta, it's a statue, but I don't refer to that one. So I refer to getting this Vegeta from Burger King. So yeah, that's Vegeta. Alright, the next one is uh, another Vegeta. This Vegeta is made by Erwin. I got, I have, I had the phone standing on the top of a book, so, so I can actually, actually can see the figure. Yep, it is made by Erwin, 2001. So, uh, yeah, I was like about maybe four years old when these guys came out. And the only one I actually had was the Goku with the Halo. And I think I had Gohan too, but I don't remember. I did have one with the Halo, the Goku with the Angel Wings. I plan on getting him again too. So that brings back memories, just like other stuff I saw when I was younger. This video was made during the Android Saga. Of course, like if he was fighting Cell or Android 18 or 19. Any of those guys. And this is a Super Saiyan, just like this is a regular Vegeta. 
this is a Super Saiyan Vegeta. They do have a regular Vegeta of Vegeta like this in his costume. Because I that's the only one I didn't get yet. So it looks just like Vegeta from the show. This one's probably in bad condition because the guy had this figure for a long time I got off eBay. He was uh, $9 for him. So that was not a bad price. Uh, so let's do the articulation of Vegeta. His legs, he can bend at the knee. He can kick out high like he can kick. His arms go up like this and go back like that. They can have like he's like he's ready to punch. His other arm go like this, like he's in a fighting position. Like he's saying, like that, like. Like that. His head only turns side to side. I only use this Vegeta, uh, basically, uh, once in a movie, so, Legend of the Undead Warrior, so that's the only time I use this Vegeta, and I do, I will use this Vegeta again for Season 10, and I will tell y'all at the, at, at the end of this video about it, and I guess I'd be excited for it, so, yeah, this is Vegeta, made by Erwin, in 2001 Android Saga so this Vegeta uh, is not bad I like it it's very cool to have a Vegeta figure so let's go on to the next figure alright let's go to this next figure I have of Vegeta this Vegeta Here's another one. This one is made by AB Toys. So it's kind of like go along with the uh, Doku Super Saiyan 3 of him. Uh, this was made by AB Toys, like I said, and re released by Erwin. So, that, so those two figures go together. And this one I had got for $7. So basically, that's not a bad price for uh, Vegeta. So, uh, this one is kind of referred to the Majin Buu Saga. So, as you know, you wore this in the Majin Buu Saga. And I use this Vegeta a lot in the show. I used it in Season 5, Season 6, Season 7, Season 8, and all of that. And this is a cool Vegeta because it's a great percent of them from that saga. Yeah, and that's how he actually looks during that time. Uh, you know, the dude gets older with years, like I said. Uh, it's a cool figure, like I said. Very nice. We done. Uh, articulation. So, arms go up like this. Like, he can do like this, like he's doing a fist, like, a fist. Like he's, I am the Prince of Satan. But, well, you know, his favorite line you always say. Head turn 360. Arm go up like this, so he can be like, uh, oh, like power up. Legs turn 360 like that. Uh, the waist, I meant, not the legs. And he's just stuck in his position, like, he's powering up or something like that. Oh, like that. And this Vegeta is not bad at all. Uh, I plan on getting, like I said, and I told you about the other two figures. I do plan on getting more Vegeta figures like Goku. So I will get uh, more Vegeta figures. And other characters too. So, yeah, that's all I have to say for this Vegeta. It's not a bad figure, it's cool. And I like him like this, because this is my... Uh, this look of Vegeta, I say not my favorite costume of Vegeta. I like him with the sand armor. Yeah, oh no, I like him with the scouter. 
on his face. That's my favorite Vegeta at all. We had the scouter costume. So this is Vegeta made by AB Toys, we released by Irwin. And that's all I have to say for this one. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, the next one is a another Vegeta. And this is Vegeta as a Super Saiyan in the same costume as the other Vegeta. And this one was, re was released by Erwin in 2001. This is the GF and Majin Buu Saga, of course. And this is one of my, uh, I guess my actual, I guess second, I guess third Vegeta figure at all because I think I got this one before I got the other one. So, uh, this Vegeta, uh, was. This is the one I use in the show when he's a Super Saiyan. When he is fighting, I guess, uh, Caroline, his, uh, Kayako, androids. I should have him in the sand armor, because that would basically been better. But I didn't have him like that at the time. So, uh, this Vegeta, uh, it's not bad Vegeta. It's one of the striking Z figure Vegeta's, but I don't know what he does. So, like, it's, I think he says, I think he says supposed to flip. And he's kind of clicking his arm like that. And I don't know what he does, so. Articulations, let's only go forward and back. Then they go like that, too. And his arms can go all the way, all the way around. And his head only turns side to side like that. So yeah, this I don't know what this Vegeta is supposed to do when it's, it's a gimmick. Because I have two other figures that start and Z. And I don't know what this one does. So, uh, this one don't really stand up. So, as you can tell, right here, he don't stand up. So that's what's wrong with this Vegeta. He can't stand up like the original other figures that I have. So this is all for this Vegeta. This one I have to say I just got this one so it go along with the other costume for Vegeta. So that's all for this Vegeta. This one was re was released by Erwin 2001, and it's a striking Z figure Vegeta. This one's the one of the ones that does the gimmick, but I don't know what he does. So, let's go on to the next one. Alright, we're down to the last toy, I guess. And this toy um, here is a Super Saiyan or Vegeta. Alright, uh, this figure of Vegeta is when he's in Dragon Ball GT, he's a Super Saiyan 4. Of course, uh, actually I did like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but it's kind of sad like he didn't show a lot more screen time in this show, but like I said, he wasn't shown that much at all. So, yeah, this figure of him is kind of cool because you know, he's in a good fighting position ready to fight you and I like it I do want to get the actual bigger figure of him this is a 4 inch scale of the cheetah it's one of the real work figures they just stand here they don't do anything they just stand there so I only use this only two or three times uh, I think uh, for uh, season 5 and Hell Gateway, and that was actually it. So, GT, like Toys Ball GT, yes, they will be Super Saiyan 4. So, I will show more of Vegeta in that show. Like, I don't want to be like how Dragon Ball GT was. So, I will show Vegeta more in GT than just once or twice. Because that's not good for that. If that's that favorite character. On the show. So that is actually it of this figure. 
This figure is cool. It just stands here. Just stands in the same position all day. Just like that. So, that is actually it of this review on all my Vegeta figures. So, we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Majin Buu Saga Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Android Saga. And regular Vegeta. So, that is actually it on my Vegeta figures. I only have five figures of Vegeta. So, I guess Goku is my favorite, but he will still like Vegeta too. I don't hate Vegeta, I like Vegeta too. It's because he's with the show and he's basically always with Goku all the time. So, I do like Vegeta. I do want to get more figures of Vegeta so that will happen and now I'm going to tell you what the news is about actually this week on Monday I had bought Sonic, Amy, Knuckles and Tails so what that means that when they get here they'll get here next week so when they get here I'll, season 10 will happen so I will be making the episodes back to back every day. When they get here, I'll be making the episodes. And I will finish up the other episode and team I have to I have to get off this phone first. So I have to get off of this. So when I get off of this phone, because the scenes are all on this one for that episode, so I'll have to finish off recording off of this. But after I finish recording off of this one, then I will just continue on recording with this phone I'm using. So, that is actually it of this video, and I will be making a Christmas special too. And pretty soon I'm gonna, I guess, show y'all now. And as you can see, I'm using the GS thing back there. I, I guess I should show it. I'm going to be making the basketball thing as well. Pretty soon. So that is actually it for this review on my Vegeta figures. And I do plan on doing uh, other figures too. So I do want to see. Let me see who I should do. If you guys want to know. So here they all are. I did Goku, so they're the androids. So, so here they are. Who do y'all think I should do? So I only did Goku and just did Vegeta. I only have two figures of Piccolo, so two figures of Trunks, one figure of Gohan. The androids are right there, and. There's Gogeta, I should have added him with the Vegeta group, but I didn't do it. So, uh, yeah, who y'all think I should review on? So, I don't know. So, I don't really know yet, but I will plan on getting more stuff and I will review it. And, by this time, I think around about February, I will be having one of the S8 trigger arts. So, I can't wait to get one of them. So, that is really it for this review. On 
Vegeta. So, I only have five Vegeta figures. So that's really it with this review. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you are excited for season 10. Because Sonic is coming next week. I can't wait to get him. So, see y'all next time. And bye.